right, this is Geometry, Chapter 7. The title of Chapter 7 is Similarity. So we are going to take notes today on Chapter 7-1, Ratios and Proportions. And the picture I have to go with ratio and proportions is, in fact, a proportion. All right, so this is chapter seven, section one, ratios and proportions. This is an example of a proportion. So my little picture is of a proportion. Our learning objective is to write ratios and solve proportions. So let's take a look at our key concepts. I'll blow them up so that you guys can see it. Our first key concept is the cross products property. So when you have a proportion, the product of the extremes equals the product of the means. And this is where it's, it's the cross multiply. So we go top goes with the bottom equals top goes with the bottom. So we get AD equals BC. For example, two-thirds equals four-sixths. So when I multiply two times six, and then I multiply three times four, I'll have this up so you guys can see it. And I get two times six equals three times four, that is twelve equals twelve. All right, the other key concept is this properties of proportion. So let's take a peek. I'm going to blow this up so that you guys can see it. All right. One of the properties is, says that I can take and flip. As long as I flip, I can flip both sides. So if I have A over B equals C over D, I can completely flip it and go B over A equals D over C. So I'm going to write this as flip. Both. The second property is if I have A over B equals C over D, I can rewrite that. I can switch the B and the C. I'm going to call this switch. So I can write A over B equals C over D as A over C equals B over D. The last little bit that I can do here is if I have A over B equals C over D, I can add a B to the top and add a D to the top. And I know that sounds ridiculous, like why would I ever want to do that? But you're guys going to do some practice problems where... Um, you would, it's helpful to have that property. So, for example, two-thirds is equal to four-sixths. You can write that as two plus three over three equals four plus six over six. Here. So, I have two example problems I want to show you. So we're going to start out with 6 over x equals 5 fourths, and we're going to solve for x using the cross products property. So we get, when we do that, we get 6 times 4 equals 5 times x. 6 times 4 is 24. To solve for x, we divide both sides by 5, and I get that x is equal to 24 fifths, or 4.8. We're going to make it a little bit more complex with B. We have Y plus 4 over 9 equals Y over 3. We're going to cross multiply, and we get 3 times Y plus 4 equals 9Y. So we just cross multiply. We're going to distribute out the 3, and we get 3Y plus 12 equals 9Y. We're going to divide both sides by 9. Uh -uh. 
we are going to subtract 3y from both sides. And we get 12 equals 6y. And then we're going to divide both sides by 6. And we get y equals 2. We are starting with proportions and ratios because we're going to use the heck out of them when we do similarities. Oh, 